Hello everyone and welcome to my studio. My name is Miriam and I'm from Denmark. It's been a while since my last video uh, because I've been on a summer holiday. But now the holiday is over and it's time to get back into the studio. So, but what do I have for you today? Today we are going to paint this. A beautiful watercolor. As you can see, it's beautiful water lilies. So, and I will guide you step by step on how to make this. So, let's get on with it. And here's a picture of the sketch. You can pause the video and draw after it. So here we go. I have pre-mixed the colors in my plate. So I have something to grab when I need it fast. And I will begin with wetting the page. And I want to leave out uh, wide places. I don't want uh, the color to be all over the page so I just wet some of it and a little bit here on top and I avoid the leaf the uh, water and the, of course the flowers and then I just put in some water I will not wet the whole thing. Uh, all at once because then it will dry before I <laughs> finished. And I will begin with the blue color. I like to just the way this uh, I like the marks this uh, brush leaves so uh, that's why I'm using it for this uh, and I will put in some of the green as well and try to avoid the flower Sometimes it's not completely possible, but that's okay. It's going to be a loose watercolor, so. But yeah, and a little bit of red too. I want just dabbing it in here and there, and. Just put some more water on here, so I'm sure the paint will flow. I'm wetting the page again and uh, here at the bottom of the paper I would like the paint to run so I will put on some more water in a bit to make the whole thing run I think I need some more blue over here Need a bit of red, yeah. Just dab in some. And here I'm not concerned with the leaf here because I just want the water to run 
here so uh, tap in green and I think I'll try to put in some of the yellow to give them more and then I will tilt the page and hope you're able to see this on the camera just help a little bit to run. Um, need some more. I just put the brush in the water and then bring it over here. Perhaps you have to help it a bit. I'll tilt the page even more. Mm, yeah. I like this running effect, so I put some in as well. Mm, perhaps I should put some a bit of yellow here. And just so the color is not only in one place in the painting. That will make it more harmonious. Yeah. Okay. I will put it down again. I don't know, I think I want this to run all the way down. So on with more water. A bit more paint. piece of paper here and just wipe up of the water and also like that. So. And then I will leave this to dry and come back when it's dry. And time for a cup of coffee or a cup of tea. Please like uh, this video and subscribe if you enjoying it so far. Okay, so now everything is dry and it's time to put some color. I think I will begin with the leaves here. Uh, I hope you can see me properly. Just zoom out a little bit. And I begin with wetting uh, the area where I'm going to paint because I want the paint to flow and I avoid getting water on the flower because I it's a white water lily uh, and I will put some color on but that will be shadow color so
you can also see up here that the green leaf is sort of framing the flower so it becomes more visible mm. so that's a nice thing when you are making white flowers is that the surroundings are being quite colorful because then the white flower will pop and I dab in some green here as well So I think I will later on, I will just uh, put some more color on the water around the leaf and then it will sort of pop uh, out. Uh, but I do think I want a little bit more green in this one. The good thing with watercolor is that you can work in layers. So if you're not satisfied with how it looks when it's dry, you can always put on another layer because it's uh, see-through, <laughs> not opaque. <laughs> okay, and I will let this dry and then we will begin to uh, put some shadows on the flowers. Okay, so let's begin with the bottom flower we have here. I'll just move the paper a bit. So. Um, and I will uh, use the blue, I think, here. And this leaf is almost completely in shadow, so I put on some blue. And then I rinse the brush and then I drag out the color. And leave the, uh, a little bit of, of white uh, here along the edge here. So, and then I will put a shadow in here. Here, not in the whole leaf, but in the bottom of the leaf. Yeah. And I, this is very water, uh, very watery color mix. I put a lot of water in the glue because I don't want the colors to be too dark. And let me go ahead with this one. Just sort of a shadow going like that.
Okay, and I will now paint uh, the rest of the flowers and I will put on some music and I will probably uh, <laughs> speed up the film a bit so it won't take too long because I shown you with the first flower how to put on the shadows and that's just what we're going to do with these two as well. So. Okay, um, for some reason my telephone stopped recording uh, from the last session, uh, but here you can see how I finished the flowers. And now I'm going to paint around the flowers and I'm going to use this flat pointy brush uh, because it's easy to get into the corners with. So uh, I think I'll have to mix up some more colors and I want them to be a bit darker than what they were before so and I just mix up some of all the colors so it will be easy to just dab it in And this, this will make the flowers pop some more. Um, and I will start here. And then I will go in with some water, not too much just to soft the edges um, and I will put on some dark blue here uh, 
And I would say if you have student watercolors, um, you can just dip right into the pan because uh, with students, uh, student colors, it can be uh, a bit difficult to get a good strong color. And actually my, uh, this blue indigo color is actually a uh, Winsor Newton student color, so perhaps I will do it with this as well. And I want some more red here. I would really like to make this a bit greener so I will mix some of the blue and some of the yellow <coughs> okay so now we have done all the water around the flowers and the leaves in the water and uh, now I want to use a stencil to lift up some of the color here to 
make a, it look like light is sparkling in the water um, and I have I have different stencils here I've just bought a whole package on Amazon and there's quite a few different ones and I just want to find the right one um, I wanted to look natural so let's see what we got I think I like this one because it has these it looks more natural um, so I will place that in different places and then I will take my toothbrush here yeah, toothbrush <laughs> hard work today and I just dip it in some water and dab some of it off again in some paper and then I just go ahead and rub the paper and um, then I will grab some a piece of paper here and just dab it off and then I will dab the excess water off here and you see now we have a, a light some light in the painting and I will do this in different places I think I will have some down here as well um, and I think this just gives a very nice effect and it makes the painting look more natural in some ways um, there you go I got some more here and if you have some edges you think are too harsh, perhaps over here, I will. You can put the stencil there and lift up some of the paint here as well to make the edge not as hard. I think this. I really like this effect on on the watercolor. Um, I think I want a little bit down here. Yes, I really love that. Um, but now when I look at this, I just move it up so you can see better. I think there's too many stripes here okay, so I really want to lighten this up so I will try and take the toothbrush brush and just go over it here a bit to make it a bit lighter not so harsh um, I think I will do that as well here this tooth Toothbrush is really good at doing this job, I think. There you go. And now I take my pencil. I don't mind uh, having pencil lines in my paintings. I think it gives it can give it a nice effect um, if you just like it like the way it is and um, just keep it that way but I will go in with my pencil and just you know make some lines a little more clear and make some definition I think you call it <laughs> with this uh, and just And up here. Perhaps I will do a bit in as well. The middle of the flower. Just to move it. Bit more clear.
and uh, we are almost finished now. And I would suggest that you take a picture of your painting and look at that and just see if you think there are places where something is missing. Um, and then you can, perhaps you think it needs to have some more highlights here and there. And I, I don't know, I just think it's a good idea to take a picture with your camera and look at it. Uh, somehow it just changes your view. And um, yeah, it's something I do all the time. With both big paintings and small paintings. So. But yes, I think this is finished now. I really hope you enjoyed this video and that you will give it a like. And please leave me a comment down below if you have any questions at all. But um, nice to be with you today. Have a great day.